It's one thing to hear about being stuck at an amusement park on a ride, right? But to actually experience it firsthand can be one's worst nightmare. Take a look at this video. 28 people trapped 50 feet in the air at Oaks Amusement Park in Southeast Portland Friday. They were upside down on the atmosphere ride for almost 30 minutes before crews were able to rescue them. Oh, this is so scary. All this happened on the park's first day of the season. Thankfully, no one was seriously injured. Joining us now, who was on that ride, 14-year-old Evie Yanata. Uh, Evie, this is your first TV interview, so I want to thank you first for joining me. And I want to ask you, first of all, I just want to tell you also how happy we are that you're actually okay. Can you tell us how you're doing right now at this moment? I'm okay. Um, physically, my I still have a headache and I'm kind of sore just in my um, upper body area. And mentally, I think I have PTSD. <laughs> Evie, can you paint the picture for us? Uh, you and your friends, you get to the park, minding your own business, wanting to have a good time. You say, oh, this is a new ride. Let's let's jump on this ride. What happened after that? Yeah, so um, it's kind of a slow starting ride. So it slowly goes up um, and then goes around three times. And on the third time, we just sat there and it started spitting um, around in the video you can see here. And um, after about 10 seconds, I knew something was wrong. You knew something was wrong. You didn't think this was part of the ride itself? Like, okay, it's stopping for a minute, then all of a sudden it's going to swing back around. You knew this was off the pattern. Mm -hmm. After 10 seconds, I realized it was way too long. Evie, this was your first time on the ride. Did you have any indication that there might be uh, any technical problems uh, before going on it? No idea. I had no idea. Yeah, of course not, because if you did, you said, I'm not getting on this thing. What were your friends thinking? You're all there together. You're on this ride. Uh, after the first 10 seconds, you knew something was wrong, but now it turns into two minutes, three minutes. Evie, did you ever start to panic, or were you ever seriously concerned or just uncomfortable? Yeah, in the first couple minutes, a lot of people were screaming, throwing up, crying, mm. panicking, not knowing what to do, feeling completely helpless, and um, no one was really telling us what was going on. Wait a minute, Evie, you mean they weren't like on a loudspeaker saying, hey, we know there's a problem, we're coming to get you. No one was communicating with you all? All we got for communication was on a megaphone. All they kept repeating was help is on the way, but no other reasons. Evie, you are young and, and, and fit and you were able to survive this. Were there those who maybe have been a bit older like myself that you were concerned about? You're like, okay, this is not going well for the old bald guy next to me or something like that. Um, yeah, I was a couple, a little bit worried. I couldn't really see um, maybe three people um, next to me. So I had no idea what was going on the other end, but I could hear from um, the other end of the ride, a lot of people were screaming their heads off. Evie Yanata, I have to tell you, we are so grateful that you and your friends are safe. I have every reason to believe that your mother and father are not done with this situation just yet. Mm -hmm. Evie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Will you return to the amusement park ever again, or are you saying, nope, we're not going back? Never going back. <laughs> oh, Evie, don't let this ruin your, your time with your friends, though. Just take this as a, min a moment in time, and I'm just glad that you all are safe. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.